right now it is time for Let's Play in Chat. We've got uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection um, on the Xbox One S. And Blake is going to come out here and join me and follow along with the chat. It's been a very busy uh, uh, chat today because obviously everybody was excited to, uh, to have Tommy on. And uh, so people have been throwing out comments and questions and stuff. We'll try to answer your comments and questions as best we can as um, we try to play this game. Uh, but, Hi, everyone. But uh, remember... You know, it's not, me. I'm back. We're not pro fighting streamers. We're not uh, ready to have a tournament right now, right? Uh, I'm a pro with Chun Li. Okay. All right. Okay. Actually, I'm not. That's a lie. Let's hope uh, we have connections with both controllers. Let's uh, let's do this. This is true. Uh, our friend Bear. Uh, what's Bear's last name? Uh, Safi. Bear Safi. Baruti. He's isn't he like a pro Street Fighter player? He's he does play, but he's also a commentator. He knows all yeah. the, uh, the 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 way to right. frame all of this so stuff. So I up. actually beat Bear at Street Fighter on the Nintendo Switch a couple of times. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> Street Fighter Two. But you weren't streaming, so it doesn't. We weren't streaming, yeah, so it doesn't count. It doesn't yeah. count. It's not real. And okay. it's only because I was playing as Chun Li. All right. Well, let's go back to the menu here. Actually, I think it's important that we take a look at the menu. Which one are we playing? We're gonna play. Uh, I'll pick the most recent one. I, I I like the more obscure ones that we we don't get a lot of uh, remakes of. But this is the thing. It's you, we, it's we get the, remakes of all of the Street Fighter games though. Yeah, but they they haven't given us a lot of Third Strike Three and the right. Alpha games and all that stuff. Like they, Street, you, Street Fighter Three is a rare one because it only has five remakes. <laughs> and they usually give us many many versions of Street Fighter Two. Yeah. Uh, but this has all of the games that came out um, in the old two D art style. It's a 30th anniversary collection. Let's make sure we got the uh, the full title here on the screen for you. 30th anniversary collection. You can play offline. There's a museum and stuff. But it doesn't actually have all 30 years of Street Fighter. It doesn't have four. It doesn't have all of the yeah. re and, and more well, recently five. Four is understandable because it's more and five especially because they're think more recent. Four should right? be on here. Mm. I think four should be on. I mean, that's my one quibble about when I see all of these titles. It's like, why didn't they just throw on four on there as well? That's yeah. from last gen, and it would have shown a nice evolution. It's 30 years, and it only goes up to May 1999. Yeah. Right? That that's seems, true. That's, that's a good point. That seems a little weird to me. But calling it Street Fighter 2D Collection wouldn't be as uh, appealing, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. So <laughs> it does have the original Street Fighter. You want to see I this have, one? I have never played All the right, original well, this, Street this, Fighter. This, this is what we're going to start with. Oh, my God. It's, um, it's very clunky. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever played uh, Street Fighter 2. On yes, the, uh, most of us did, too. Um, okay, so hopefully we, we sound okay. Oh, is my controller on? Uh, you got to log in. There you go. Might be dead. No, you're good. Okay. And then uh, we you're have the in. power. I'll be USA. Oh, I don't know. This might only be one player. Oh my god, really? It might only. Well, be no one. wonder it failed. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it. Well, it's, press start on on your controller and see if it does anything. Okay, I'm. I'm I just oh, here comes it. a new challenger. You're oh, in. Oh, is that you're me? In. That's in. You're in. Awesome. Okay. And we're just fighting in a train yard. Yeah, it's Ryu versus Ken. Very old. Why does Ryu fight. have orange hair? Or what up with that? They didn't know they were getting a Street Fighter two. They started with what they got. But okay, hang on. Which which one am I? Uh, you're Ken. Which one is Ken? Uh, blonde. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe there's only three or four fighters in this thing. There aren't that many fighters. We can't hear the audio chat as usual, so let us know. I, I can hear the yeah. I can't hear what the balance is. Yeah. So let us know if it sounds good or bad or. Ooh, I'm terrible at this. I've actually... I played this for like two seconds when I when I got the code on the PlayStation. Did I win or did you win? I think I won. Player okay. one. <sighs> Good job. Crowd goes wild. Round two, here we go. This animation is terrible. I know. <laughs> They're walking so stiff. <laughs> well, what's amazing is the, uh, the difference between this and Street Fighter 2 is night and day. Yeah, Street Fighter 2 is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you threw I... a fireball. Look at that. I don't know how I did that. I just had Duke into your face. I can't pull off any of the fireballs. Yes! Oh, you got me. What are you using? The yeah. thumbstick or are you using the I think the, I did uh, the thumbstick to do the... Okay, all right, yeah. all right. I think. I'm just button mashing here. Powder Keg's asking for a, uh, a a collection like this based on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, that would be pretty rad. But weren't they all? They were all 3D games, weren't they? Or I guess no, the earlier no. ones were. The first couple were just like this. 
well, better than this. What was the first uh, first one released on? Was it the PlayStation 1? Street Fighter? Yeah, or no, um, Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, yeah, they had it on PlayStation 1. Yeah, because th this first Street Fighter game was only ever in arcades, right? Yes. Because I think Street Fighter 2 was the first one on consoles? Yeah, Street Fighter 2 was the phenomenon. Nobody, nobody really... Time up! One. What? I win. That you won by default. I am the best. You didn't knock, that wasn't Woo! a knockout, though. You won by on a technicality. <laughs> Ryu's got damn uh, ruby slippers. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, let, let's play Street. Let's play that's, different uh, game. from Fair of Earth. That's a great let's, point. Let's do Street Fighter Two, so yeah, I can win. Yeah, let's get out of this, right? Let, okay, let me so be Chun Li, so quit. I can win. Quit. All right, so let's check out Street Fighter Two Hyper Fighting. Uh, no, do oh, the... just go straight down. I guess they go down like this. Okay. Yeah. Do uh, oh. Street Fighter Two Turbo is pretty good. That's the like the so the Super mint. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah, that's like the best version of Street Fighter 2. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see. And how the that looks. the first version is the one with like. Look at this. Yeah, so good. So I gotta be Chun Li. I'll be uh, I'll be Ryu. Okay. All right, let's see how we do here. Yeah, and this one all the costumes are slightly different because it was re-released and they wanted to make it a bit different, I guess. Orange. Crush me. Yeah, I'm Chun Li, man. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, why does she get bigger when she's on fire? She has like the body of a man when she's on fire. <laughs> oh, oh, you got oh, me. Oh, I still won. You got yes. me. Vic, I have heard your uh, you uh, Ikaruga has been released today on the Switch. It's even better than the 360 version. Adrian Leon, I have it on the Switch. Uh, I haven't loaded it up yet. I got inundated with a bunch of collections. This and the Sega Genesis collection. Um, I got Wonder Boy. I just reviewed Shantae. There's a, there's a bunch of other I ones. I feel Battle so sorry Chaser. for you, Vic. You're getting all these free games. <laughs> this is such an <laughs> well, awful thing I, to have. It's what I'm reviewing. But I did get a code oh. for Ikaruga, and I'll be reviewing that, too. So I can't wait to play that game. What are these creatures in the background? What's that purple one in the middle? Uh, it's like this dragons. weird thing. They're but dragons. it's like a dragon with... Oh, that's like a dragon bird. Are those Monster Hunter uh, creatures? It could be. That kind of looks like a thing in Monster yeah, Hunter, doesn't for it? Sure. Maybe they based it off that. Yeah, a little uh, sort of forward-looking uh, foreshadowing. Like when right they there. made the, because I know this is before Monster Hunter, obviously. Like, did the Monster Hunter designers? Oh yeah. Fuck. Keep talking, Blake. <laughs> yeah. That was close. That was close. That's my cackle. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're totally neglecting the chat, yes. aren't we? Uh, you want to ask a question? I'll fight Feng. Uh, Fe, uh, I think it's Fei Long. Yeah, Fei Long. Oh, I'll you're fight fighting Fei Bruce Lee. Long. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't see any. Put the questions in uh, bold. If you can, chat. You know, in caps, if you can. Or bold check. Yeah, caps. Yeah, helps, that's helps that's the word I'm looking for. It. Yeah. It's hard to talk and fight at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, a fat chimp is pointing out that half the games are, are Street Fighter 2 variations. Yes. That makes sense. I mean, Street Fighter that's, 2 is the best in the series. That's what they did, though. That's what Capcom did, is, I mean, and we all lined up and bought these cartridges along the way. I had a Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Cartridge. Yeah. I had it on the, on, on Super Nintendo. My sister used to kick my ass. And then I got the turbo version of it as well. Yeah, I mean, that kind of reminds me of what Tommy was saying earlier, like, when we played Street Fighter 2, it was me, my sister, all her friends yeah. were all girls. Right. Like, it was there wasn't a gamer. No. Right? We all just played, and my dad would join in. Like, yeah, we all remember, just played the game. You know? uh, when, I, when I first started to play video games in the 80s, I was um, a huge arcade nut, and we had a pool hall. I grew up in Kitsilano, and we had a pool hall up on Broadway there in Vancouver. And uh, Can I jump in now? How do I jump in? Just press your start button. Uh, this, that one? I did. Am I... Uh, am I, am I Ken? Maybe, maybe. Oh, here comes a new challenger. Oh, you were Ken. Oh, because I died. I had to come back. Oh, really? So uh, I'll, be, I'll be Thunderhawk. So uh, am I, but am I playing now? Yeah, you're, uh, you're Ken. Okay. Um, I don't want to be Ken. I, I know, you want to be Chun Li, I know, but you're going to be Ken, and I'm, I, did, I don't necessarily want to be T. I don't want to be the white guy who has to beat up the Indian guy. That's, <laughs> that's really racist. <laughs> oh, that's not... That's not cool, because you're not going to keep me up. Uh, but I oh, went yeah. to this. Uh, <laughs> I went to this pool hall, and 
it was all these old Greek Greek dudes that were uh, in there playing backgammon, and then there was this Pac-Man machine, and I just uh, I, I sat down, started playing it, and was beating screens, and all of a sudden I looked up, and all these old uh, these guys had left their backgammon game, and they'd come to watch me play Pac-Man, and they were wondering what the hell was going on with this <laughs> cute cartoony game. And it really left an impression on me. It's like I was surrounded by people and they all went, ooh, when I died. And it was like, wow, man, games can really, can bring a crowd. And that's, honestly, it's, it's stories like that that helped me kind of shape the uh, the pitch for uh, Electric Playground when I started meeting with uh, broadcasters and sponsors in the 90s. Oh. It's like, Did I just win? You won, I was talking. Holy shit. Vic, who is uh, Native American? Sorry. All right, Matthew Sorry. Longo, absolutely right. Who is your go-to in Street Fighter V if you're playing it, of course? Um, I love Rashid in uh, Street Fighter V. I actually I love playing that game. It's so fun. But I, like every one of these games that you can play forever, I don't have forever to be able to keep going back to these games. If I'm going to create reviews of new games, I have to play the new games. So uh, um, I haven't played it since I looked at Street Fighter uh, V Arcade, which was amazing. <clears throat> oh, shit. I thought I was dead already, so I stopped. No, I got you. I got you. <laughs> But I do love the Street Fighter games every time I play them. I remember getting a big argument with Scott, I think, about Street Fighter 4 because it wasn't a revolution. It, yeah, was, it was a big it was evolution. Kinda, yeah. and, and he, no, I loved it though. I just love the art style. I want to play one of the Alpha games. Yeah, let's do it. Um, but uh, he was really adamant that like the, the games need to progress. And he's not wrong, but I just felt like it was just candy. It was just so beautiful and lush and amazing. Street Fighter Alpha 3, let's do it. I remember, was it E3 2008 where they announced Street Fighter 4? Mm-hmm. I think, I think it was. Because I remember the first E3 I went to, there was one of the games, I was with Jose, and we interviewed someone about Street Fighter 4. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. That no, was 10 I, years ago. That makes me feel old. So super psyched. I got a question from Tyler Fisher. Are you excited about the new Soul Calibur? Unbelievably excited. I got a chance to play a little bit of it at uh, uh, j during Judges Week. Well, what character is that? The that the one above you, Rolento, yeah, Sodom, Sodom. Let's play. Wow, him. is he in any of the new games? I, Where's Gamora? I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they should have. They Soul should Calibur's have, my fight, my favorite fighting game. Series. They should have Gamora from Marvel vs. Capcom and him in the, and then Sodom and Gamora. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sodom is in one of them. Uh, gotcha. You're busy. Yeah, it, I, I, it really is stupid that I complain about having did, all of these games to play, but that's that's the the gig is like it's what's your job, right? There's just there's only so many hours, right? How did I? How, I didn't know Chun Li could shoot Hadoukens. This is the Alpha game. Okay. So they change a lot of stuff. I suck there, Jesus. It's because I'm Chun Li. F uh, fighting games like these are great in a crowd and great for tournament styles, but after one tournament, it's not fun anymore. From <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone that got kicked uh, out of a tournament or someone that didn't progress. Uh, I love fighting games. Virtual Fighter and Soul Edge were my jams back in the day. Sammy and One One One. Yeah, I do. I love fighting games too when I play them, but it, it is um, to get really good. Yes. You, it's a commitment, and you honestly you need somebody that that. You're, you hang out with, and you you play all the time with, to really give you the extended value in these games. Because you want to play them with a buddy, or buddies. Yes. Well, you See, I'm good when I'm Chun Li. Chun Li. I'm good when I'm okay, Chun Li. I want to play one I more match at, of this. I suck at every other character except Chun Li. Okay, I'll try. Uh, oh yes, continue. Here comes a new challenger, and I'm gonna be. Uh, I really like the art style in the the border. That's really cool. That's like great. The, yeah, it's gorgeous. It looks good, yeah. Um, Capcom does the same thing with the uh, Mega Man collection, right? They I'm have the BYU. border. So that it looks good on a 60 by 9 TV. Yeah. I like that they do that. They know how to package their stuff, man. They know how to make this so thing Sometimes beautiful. the button mapping is a little eh, but... Fat Chimp, I'm not sure that that's ever going to come. He's talking about Tekken versus Street Fighter. Yeah, the, yeah what's happening there? Uh, I mean, maybe like when Tekken 8 comes out. Tekken 7 was a huge hit for Bandai Namco last year. Um, but uh, maybe they just gotta. And maybe Street Fighter 6. Because Street Fighter 5 was a bit of a disappointment for Capcom. Oh my god, I'm just totally button mashing and sucking. Oh! I like Chun Li because she can jump around a lot, so. 
You got me. I can just jump got me. over everything. It's sad that Tecmo said Team Ninja is done with the DOA series. It gets bad press for its physics, but its mechanics <laughs> are some of the best. Tyler Fisher uh, agreed. That game series is a ton of fun. There's been a lot of good ones. I actually miss Virtual Fighter, you know? But Soul Calibur, because of its, uh, of its weapon-based combat, it's just super fun, super fluid. And I love what uh, NetherRealm did with Injustice last year. That blew my mind. We're spoiled. The Guilty Gear games are great. I like the, the uh, Darkstalkers games as well. Shit. Boo! Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be Chun-Li. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the Bethesda tweet from today? I just saw that they... Yeah, I did they, not see. What would it, what it did was, they suggest? They, tweet, they just tweeted a, an image, you know, in Fallout when it says, please stand by. Yeah. It, it's like a... And then an announcement comes right after that. They just tweeted that image. So they're, so they're teasing potentially some Fallout-related announcement. <laughs> People are speculating it might be a 10th anniversary edition of Fallout 3. Right. It could be a new mobile game, like, uh, what was that, Bunker... Fallout Shelter or yeah, whatever it Fallout was. Fallout Shelter, yeah. yeah. Could be something like that, or it's probably not going to be Fallout 6 because it's been so recently that we had uh, Fallout 4. But Good. yeah, something... Press, what am I, am press I, start. Am I doing stuff? Yeah. Now fight a new rival. Pick somebody you don't know. I don't know these characters. Uh, I've never played as Chun-Li. No, in yes, this game. yes, yes, you in have played game. as Chun Li. Uh, not in this game. You play as somebody else. Okay, I don't know who this play person the, is. Play the blue guy. Twelve. Is this, is this uh, it's Dudley versus twelve? Is, am I? The, isn't this the thing from Big Hero Six? Um, oh, do I need to do stuff? Yeah, somebody, okay. somebody said, "Do not sleep on Shaq Fu." Johnny McFly with the brave comment right there. We will see how Shaq Fu turns do not out. Sleep on Shaq Fu. <laughs> Look at the art, man. This is gorgeous. Oh, what am I, Spider-Man? What the hell? No, you're who 12. Is, who is this character? You're 12. Is he from something? Like I, I, I don't know all of these stories. There's so this? many characters. I'm Dudley. I this is a weird-looking thing. I'm a turn-of-the-century boxer from... <laughs> from Jolly Old England! <laughs> this is a weird... What the fuck? Look at this thing. This is kind of cool. It seems like one of the monsters from. Like, uh, like I have a Green Lantern ring or something. It's Dark Stalkers, right? That's the other. That's the Capcom monster fighting experience. I think that's right. Uh, I love those I, games. Yeah, I can't remember. This is exactly like New Vegas, but in California. Whoa! What? I, what? Third Strike is the what, best. Wh how from did Blair I do that? Farrell. How did I do that? What'd you do? I disappeared for like five seconds. Ah. This is amazing. I'm just button mashing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, it's. You learn that way. I only know what I'm doing when I'm Chun Li. See now, no, how did I do that? How cool. did I do that? I just threw out a rose. Can I just move around? Apparently, I'm on the Bachelor. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Boosh. I like Dudley. There you get a rose. <laughs> you get a rose. Uh, we are totally just hammering on the buttons. Is the rose like injuring me? I like, think it is, man. You don't want those thorns in your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the lamest attack. <laughs> just throw a rose at someone. In oh! <laughs> there was just a oh, tiny wow. sliver of health. That's, that's uh, oh, you, and your butler came down to see. Oh, you. very nice. <laughs> Punching bag that can bleed is not a suitable rival for me. Oh, this is great. It's also not so a press, suitable thing to end your sentences. Continue. It's also not suitable to end your sentences with a preposition. There you go. <clears throat> you cannot choose Chun Li. Uh, what if the alpha games always look the best? Wizard of Loneliness. I used to uh, to draw them in my uh, Trapper Keeper. <laughs> Your Trapper Keeper. <laughs> uh, hey, look, be it's this, Rorschach be from this Watchmen. guy. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Rorschach. Is it Rorschach? No. No. Okay. His name is Q. All right, is that cool. my name? Vic should play Clay Fighter. That game series did uh, not age well. You have well. to select your uh, control oh, okay. style. There we go. Thank you. I'm Q. Uh, this is a character from Star Trek. Is it just Q? Is his name? Look at oh this. wow! Look at the horse. This is gorgeous. It's like a live-action horse. Oh my it? goodness! This might be the, the the little hidden gem in this uh, Street Fighter collection here. What a difference to go from! I like the the, the very animation first too. First really cool. Street Fighter to this game, man. Street Fighter Three. I like is this great. animation style. It's really nice. They're masters. The Capcom Street Fighter team. Wow! They've given us so many beautiful memories. That horse looks great. It's like the best looking horse ever. It, it, like a 2D... Uh, Look at that. Yeah, it's really lovely. Oh, and it's just perspective. Buffed. Oh, come on. My guy sucks. He's just like 
grasping he, he's anyway. like out of eternal champions on the xbox or on the, on the he's genesis just like, he's just like shin kicking <laughs> oh, like, i think i'm in the wrong game here <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vic should play Clay Fighter. That's hilarious. Video oh, games are I for kids. Agree. That was a quote from Shaq. And he, Sorry, I, snap, I didn't realize you weren't paying attention, so I didn't. Tyler, know. thanks for that memory. That's awesome. Whoa. Yes, that Whoa. is my third strike right there. Why is there horses in a carriage and a bus in the same time period? That makes no sense. Because Street Fighter transcends time. Imagine <laughs> if Digital Eclipse Blair Farrell did a collection of this... Uh, of nothing but the Marvel games, Children of the Atom, Superheroes versus Oh Blair, man, you are speaking my language. I would love that. That would be incredible. Um, let's play uh, a different Street yeah, Fighter. Yeah, let's try another one. Let's see what else. That we one got. was cool though. I like, I like that. That's beautiful. What one was that? Uh, third Strike, Street Fighter Three. Oh, okay, strike. so the the most recent one on the collection. Yeah. Okay. Did we do Alpha Three? What is that? Yeah, we did a little Alpha Three. Let's play the first Alpha and see what it's like. People are talking about Shaq Fu. It's amazing. Whoa, look at how slim the roster is, huh? I'll be uh, Sagat. We should play. What? Where's Chun Li? No Chun Li. No, she's up there. Don't pick her. Where is she? Oh. Be Rose. I think. Yeah, I'll be this lady. Yeah. Um, this is making me want to play Star Wars uh, Masters of Terrace Kasai. People are talking about E3 le leaks in here. Masters of Terrace Kasai, oh my god. We should hook up the PlayStation and play some. Yeah, because they <laughs> mentioned it in Solo, right? Yeah. So we should play that. <laughs> do you have that game? Bro? I do, yeah. Oh my god, we gotta play that. <laughs> we, we legit need to play that sometime. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> now, if this were a Mortal Kombat game, there would be environmental destruction. Would I grab one of those cats and like throw it at you and it yeah. like... And it would scratch me. One of my prize game positions is a signed uh, copy of Wu-Tang Shaolin style. Brought it to concert and for them to sign it, it's so cool, hard game. Huh, oh, Johnny McFly. Am I smacking you with my hair? Matthew Longo saying, uh, yeah you are. Saying, uh, it's strange to see a fighting game without 30 characters. You go ahead and punch me while I read the chat there. That's that's cool. I would I'm that's, that's when I, I notice that you're reading the chat, yeah. I actually do no, not. No, that's that's good. Cheap cheap moves. No, I'm work. I'm they still I'm I'm like not being cheap. Okay. I'm making a point to not <laughs> punch you when you're reading the chat. If I can, if I'm not if I notice that you're reading the chat, sometimes I don't notice. Okay, all right. Well, I, I can still use okay, it what, as my excuse how for did, sucking. How did you not die? You have like. I'm I'm really good. But you have no health either. Professional player. This is a really boring environment yes. that we're fighting in. I mean, I see the Coliseum way in the background, but... I mean, it's a it's a super cool collection. I'm, I, it's amazing to have all of these different Street Fighter games on there, but the only thing is it, it feels absent the most recent ones. Just to see the whole idea of how far it went. Yes. I'm, uh, okay, you got, like, you got me, you got me, you got me, you got me. Are you uh, done? <laughs> here comes a new challenger, let's see. Oh, I can't change my... Uh... Oh, the, so if you pre-ordered this, you got the ultimate, somebody was saying, you get you you actually could get four as part of a pre I pre-ordered really? this at EB, and the bonus was Ultra Street Fighter 4, got the PS4 version, so technically... Technically, he got everything except five, which is great. Blair Farrell with the score. <coughs> Am I Sagat again? Okay, all right, here we go. Or Sagat. Too busy looking at the background, Faramir says. See, I didn't punch you because I knew you weren't. Okay. Now, do you, is that a scar on his chest I, or like a just I think it's weird a, hair? It's a scar. He just has a weird patch of hair like, like diagonally character. across he's, he's his chest. He's super cool. He's got good moves. I don't know how to do all the moves, but... Do you know who I really like, Vic? Is Chun-Li. Chun-Li, yeah. But you won't let me play as her. No, no it's cheap. How is it cheap? <laughs> Just because I'm good at Chun-Li. <laughs> oh, that's a brutal move. That's abuse. Don't hit a woman like that, Vic. Abuse. Oh, you did it again. Rose has got hair that beats my ass, so I can do that. I paid you back, though. I kicked all you right. right in the nuts. Uh, Ryu gave him the scar. Matthew Longo has the uh, gave Sagat the scar in, in uh, Street oh, really? Fighter One. Oh, and the lore. Ryu is a badass. Question from Tyler Fisher: Can you please do a buried treasure of Need for Speed Four high stakes 
for the PlayStation 1. I will have to dig that up because I cannot recall. I'm sure I played it, but I can't recall all the details on it. But uh, thank you for the tip. And that's why I like King of Fighters uh, characters from Neo Geo King. I think that might actually be someone that works at SNK talking about <laughs> Neo Geo games. I do love the Neo Geo games. I can't wait for that. Speaking of new consoles, I can't wait for that little mini console to come out too. Oh, okay. I think I found my new Chun Li. Yeah, she's very good. Okay, let's play. Are you gonna tell her? Tell me I can't play as her. No, anymore? you can be anybody you want. Um, let's play the first Street Fighter 3 game, New Generation. I believe this was a PlayStation 1 title as well, I remember that. Didn't it say in the... That's uh... a giant uh, scar from the uppercut that uh, Ryu or Ken gave, okay. Uh, uh, Samyam101 uh, says uh, Sagat has alopecia on his chest. Okay, so let's start here. Um, There's no Chun-Li. No Chun-Li this time. What? Say what? Your favorite uh, Dudley is there, though. I'll be Ibuki. I'm going to be this weird-looking dude. Necro. Okay. Oh, I get to do the little slam dance. Sounds pretty good. Okay, cool. The Neo Geo Mini is cooler in concept than I think it will be in execution. The screen is just too small. Three inches. Uh, Samian 111. Um, yeah, still, we all want one of those, right? Everybody that's watching this right now wants one of those things. Oh, this guy's cool. Look at the art, man. They this did an beautiful. amazing job with Yeah, this, uh, mu this must be a PS1 game, right? With Street Fighter 3. Who's this little person just in the background staring at us with a cape? I don't know. Kind of weird. It's like uh, some of the cast members from Solo. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Boom. Yes. I like how when you kicked me, because I'm sort of stretchy, like my whole midsection was like sticking out behind me. That was pretty cool. This dude is just standing there doing this in the yes. background. Oh, now there's a guy with a spear. He's like falling asleep on the spear. It certainly got, you know, a little more abstract in their character yeah. designs. And the, the little time. dude in the middle was replaced by a dog. <laughs> <laughs> by a tanuki, it looks like. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just does this like comical ragdoll. Like. That was great. Third Strike. Yeah, Third Strike got big when it was on the PS2 collection with two in the first animated movie. Blair Farrell. <laughs> oh no! Giving us me. the I'm fats. All, I'm all beat up. They need to bring back Power Stone. Johnny McFly says. Okay, so press. Uh, let's do one more. Press that. So do I get to play as Ibuki now? You can be whoever. Oh you no! Want. I can be whoever I want. Yeah. I can't be Chun Li though. So. No. Who who haven't we played as? Play as uh, Oro. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, that. In the Amazon. Oh, wow, look at that. I'm in a bag. <laughs> I just came out of a bag. Third Strike was amazing on the Dreamcast, Blade Blur says. There's just like a dog hanging out in a cave in the Amazon. That's cool. Oh, and there's a raccoon. Cool. Look at the colors, man. Raccoons don't live in the Amazon, do they? I don't know. Good question. It's like the raccoon from Pocahontas. Like the Disney movie Pokemon. Oral's only got one hand. Oh wow, really? That is cool. Oh! Did I win or did you win? The great thing about these collections, and I'm experiencing this too when I'm playing the Sega Genesis collection, is that, like I, I touched a lot of these games, but I certainly don't remember all the details. And then when you go back to them and you you just witness the creativity and the inventiveness that the developers had and the artists had. It's 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 something, man. It's really cool. I say this all the time, but these old games they matter, and it's great that the industry figures out ways to kind of get it get them to us. The elegance of having an account and never losing access to these titles in the future is what I'm looking forward to. Cause why, but Vic? Why is there a bunch of dogs and cats just hanging out in a cave? Clearly, this in is the a Amazon. dystopian future. <laughs> Where the dogs and the cats. And why is my guy picking his nose as he's telling you that? I don't know. I think he's on a phone call, actually. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be... Uh, I'll be oh, Alex. I, so I have to keep being Oro because I won. Yeah. So the guy who wins it. doesn't get to choose a new character? Uh, Jordan Cunningham, Cunningham says that's not a uh, raccoon. Says it's a red panda. Oh, right. uh, okay, Johnny whatever. McFly says, do expect to get Rocksteady announcement at E3. Um, I don't. 
Um, and I may have a little bit of insider information, but uh, no, I don't. Shut up. I, I, uh, I don't expect there to be a Rocksteady. But I want there to be one. There might be a tease of what's coming. But, uh, yeah. Did I win? No. You won. I won. Okay. Yeah. This guy's was... fighting style is so, like, because I guess he has only has one arm. It looks like he's losing, but it's actually like he's flipping you over. Tyler Fisher actually loved uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, but did see its faults. Heartbreaking game. Yeah, it's it's always sad when a bad game you like you can see how it could have been good. Mm -hmm. Same with a movie. Oh, the the um, the combat was pretty cool in that game. I mean, yeah, was, like there's there's good elements of every well not every bad game, but Mass Effect Andromeda is that type of game where you can see yeah. like just a little, you know. I think Changed it, some things. Honestly, it would have been a I good think game. it was switching from Unreal to Frostbite. Yeah, that was really difficult for the for the yeah. dev team. Po Polygon, I think it was, did that huge long article about all the development problems. Yeah, yeah it's heartbreaking. Blair Farrell, uh, Andromeda, he's got the prices on our chat here. It says down to ten bucks at EV. <laughs> Show some respect That's... for your elders, Ripper Snapper. <laughs> Is that what it said? That's what I just told you. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. My guy, my guy said all that right. to your guy. Um, I think the standout in this is uh, Third Strike. And I think we should play one more match Let's of do this. It. Can I be Chun Li this time? You can be whoever you want to be. Okay. Um, and let's see how we do. Oh, I think you just hit quick game, didn't you? No. Oh. Uh, so I gotta be my girl Chun Li. Okay, I'll be uh, Ryu. And I'm gonna do that. It doesn't get any more Street Fighter than Ryu versus Chun Li. Nope. Did Vic ever retread it after all the patches? No, I have not. That's that's a regret. I want to go back to that. I also want to go back to No Man's Sky. I want to go back to. Uh, uh, I mean, they added a bunch of new content to um, Splatoon 2, Sea of Thieves. These games that are perpetual, man. It's it's so tough to kind of stay locked on them because you know they keep making new games. I don't know if you guys know, but they keep oh, making uh, new somebody's... stuff. <laughs> Somebody just invited you to join a party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost. Yeah, I suck at this Chun Li. Quantum Break is the best commentary on binge watching streaming a series in video game form. Hmm. Splatoon is getting an expansion. Yes, it is. Yeah. The Joker just sent us a message. Okay. He's like, "Why so serious?" <laughs> I want to watch the world burn. <laughs> I just want my phone call. <laughs> Remember how bad the site, the one after that was? Uh, yeah. With Bane? Yeah. Do you want to sleep? Oh, I have this overly elaborate bomb <laughs> that's going to go off in six months. Tell you what, you can wake up in one hour. I'll still be here. We'll still be fighting in broad daylight. <laughs> Looks like cosplay outside of Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, th so this time I totally owned somehow. Uh, question, what do I think of Black Ops 4? Honestly, they only let us play a multiplayer match, like a, like a generic, typical Call of Duty multiplayer match. I have not had hands-on with the Zombies mode or the new Battle Royale mode, and that's the story with, ba with Black Ops 4. The, the multiplayer was super fun and very accessible, and um, I think it's the nice compromise between the future and, uh, and World War II. Uh, I think it's going to be super easy to play the game, and there'll be a lot of depth to it. But I feel like it's a big mistake to not give us a single-player campaign as well. I think the uh, I idea with a franchise like that that makes so much money and has so many expectations is be additive, not reductive. Don't don't pull stuff back. They should have just thrown in the. Uh, uh, Can't do that. They should have. Chun Li does. Uh, they should have just thrown in battle royale and said, "Here, you get this too." Uh, just got back from dominating Evo, actually. Yes, I did. Uh, no, they didn't. Nobody announced, uh, I'm fair remember, nobody announced anything about Rare's games for the N64, but I was thinking about how are they possibly going to be able to do uh, the N64 Classic Edition well, Justice without Rare's well, titles. Well, they can do at least Donkey Kong and Diddy and Kong Diddy Racing. And Diddy Kong Racing, yes. Yeah. Diddy Kong Racing was awesome. That was an amazing game. I remember what a friend and I used to do, We because we both had the N64, 
<clears throat> if there was a game we wanted, yep. one of us would buy it and then let the other borrow it. Oh, that's cool. Because we couldn't get every game, right? Yep. So we would like coordinate. Yeah. And that was a game that he got, and we would like share it back and forth. And the multiplayer and that was fun too, because it this had like four great. player. <laughs> I'm just standing there yawning with <laughs> <laughs> I just threw a basketball. I don't. No, it's a beach a ball. Uh. Oh, is it a? <laughs> is it a? Oh, it's yeah, it's a basketball. It, oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you no, think it's we're a football because it's a, like a soccer ball because it's Brazil, isn't it? I think it was a basketball. Oh, but you're not. You're an American guy. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit racist, isn't it? <laughs> uh, stereotypical. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if they had a Canadian fighter and he threw like maple syrup and apologies at you. The uh, Mountie hat, like odd job. <laughs> he just—he doesn't fight. He just says sorry the whole time. Every time he hits you, he throws beavers. <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Battlefield Five maps are all free. Matthew Longo, no microtransactions for anything but cosmetic. Hmm, that is the right way to do it. Do I think Star Fox Racing game rumor to be coming out will be the heir apparent to Diddy Kong Racing? Sammy M one one one. I really hope so. Um, it's crazy to think that it's a Star Fox racing game, but it certainly could be amazing, right? Like you just, your mind just—that seems such, like such come, a perfect fit. Yeah, it it's comes an on the rails flying yeah. game. Right? Yeah, and, and it's uh, retro, and they kicked ass with the Donkey Kong Country games. Okay, I'm getting my ass. Speaking of getting I'll kick ass, oh. you kicked my ass right I'm there. Friendly, yo. Vic figured it out. After about 20 hours, they said they were open to working with other studios on the franchise. Vic, why didn't we play an Intellivision game? We should have, We've right? had this wonderful console sitting here this whole time. I know. That would have been very difficult to hook up to this thing with HDMI yes, and all that. Yes, okay, my friends. Uh, that, that was a little taste of um, Street Fighter an uh, 30th Anniversary Edition. Thank you, Blake. You're, You're welcome. very good at Chun-Li. We'll never play with those characters again. Okay, bye, uh, everyone. Do you think uh, N64 Classic will be able to get the rights to Ogre Battle 64? I've seen that pop up a lot on my, uh, on my Twitter feed. I believe Ogre Battle 64 will come to the N64. That is my prediction, uh, the Classic Edition. Vic, uh, how do you feel about other people in the room who aren't Vic trying to show their weak game? <laughs> uh, how do I feel about other people in the room who aren't Vic trying to show their weak game? You mean uh, Blake kicking my butt at Street Fighter? I'm okay with that. I'm okay. It's all right. I play for the experience. I'm not just a winner-take-everything kind of guy. Uh, but that wraps us up for EP Live. Tomorrow morning I have a screening I have to go to see, so I don't think we're going to have time to do an EP Live, but we will have a brand new rundown for you, and uh, we will be back very soon with a brand new episode of EP Live. Lots of cool interviews headed your way, lots of new reviews, um, you know, cool stuff keeps coming out. And uh, today we learned that Tommy is now the president of Intellivision. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you very soon. Remember, we've got tons of other content for you to check out. Please do, and if you dig it, hit subscribe. you got to hit that little bell so you get the notifications. And if you're so inclined, you can hit that sponsorship button too. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.